Hello, my name is Sarah Stewart, and I am the creator and founder of Balletiques, an ex-professional dancer, a registered Royal Academy of Dance ballet teacher, and a Silver Swans licensee. I'm originally from the UK and live in Calgary, Canada, where I now teach my classes online. My Silver Swans classes are for all abilities and ages, and absolutely no experience is required. So today in this video, I'm going to show you a few examples of the exercises we do in class, which really teach the basic fundamentals of ballet. I hope you enjoy. All right, we're going to get going now. So make sure your space is all clear. <laughs> You're not going to trip up over anything or anyone. <laughs> um, you can wear socks, um, slippers as I have. Um, just be careful, or bare feet, but just be careful that if you have socks on, that it's not too slippy on that floor. So first exercise we're going to do today is our plie, demi-plie exercise, and we're going to bend those knees. So we're going to take our uh, plies from parallel to start, so toes and heels together. Knee bend, pressing those knees forward. We're going to open those arms to demi-second, little curve of those arms, two demi-plies. We're going to take a basic corps de bras. Up to first, out to second, and falls down gracefully down to bra bra. We're going to repeat that with our demi plie. Two demi plies, and then we're going to take a full port de bra, reaching through first. It carries up, framing your face, and all the way back down. Imagine you're in the middle of a bubble, tracing those fingers around that circle. We're going to take our first position. And then, if you're feeling comfortable today, we're going to practice rising and balancing over those 10 toes, lifting up, straightening those legs, and feeling like you're being pulled up through the top of your head, through that imaginary golden thread. All right? We're then going to do everything in first position. So you're going to turn those toes out, heels together, and we're turning those legs out from the tops of our hips, so rotating out here. Yeah, finding that pizza slice with our feet. We're going to repeat everything in first position. So finding that diamond shape, pressing those knees over those middle toes as we plie. When we rise, you're going to push those heels forward, putting all that body weight on the front part of your feet, preferably towards those big toes. All right, we're going to finish with some demi-plies and a port de bras. All right, well, let's get going. I'm going to put some music on. This music is from, um, uh, it's called Glasgow Love. It's from Love Actually, so one of my favorite Christmas movies. Makes me homesick. <laughs> Here we go. Feet in parallel, standing tall and ready. God, lifting up to the top of the head. Relaxing that shoulders. Good. Little breathe. Demi plie goes. Down. And up. Down. Basic port de bras. Up. And open. Reach and down. Plie goes down. Keeping those heels on the ground. Full pot of bra. Lift and open. We're going to gather up to that basket in front of our belly button. I'm going to lift those heels. Ready? Lift up tall. Lower. Lift up tall. Lower. Take a little breath. And turn those toes out to first. We're going to repeat. Plie. Heels press into the ground. Down. Up. Basic. Reach. Keep those elbows lifted. And down. Plie goes down. Up. Down. Full port de bras. Framing that beautiful face. Opening wide. Gathering to our first position, lift, just opposite your belly, now lift those heels, draw tall, and squeeze those heels down, lift, squeeze, one more, lift, squeeze, we're going to lift the right arm up, up to fifth, left arm joins, open out, we're going to reach on all the way up, up the sides to our open fifth, which is a V shape. So fingers reaching, lifting that chin slightly. Imagine lasers coming out with those fingertips. Then you're going to press the air away, 
Coming down slowly, shaping your arms at the bottom. Good job, well done. All right, you've got a little glimpse of what's coming up there. <laughs> Very well done. Excellent. Plie, demi plie to knee bend. This next exercise is we're going to learn a movement called fondue. So fondue means to melt. You want to think of cheese fondue, chocolate fondue, all ooey and gooey in that pot, okay? We're going to do our fondues from parallel, so toes and heels together, and we're going to take just hands on the waist for now as we learn the feet. So we're going to lift the right foot up, and you're going to come to coup de pied position. Coup de pied means neck of the foot, neck of the foot being our ankle. So you're going to place that big toe to the ankle bone, bend both knees, and then straighten both knees to stand, lifting the other foot down and up. So as knees press forward like we're doing in our demi plies, yeah, and it's a simultaneous action of two knees bending and two knees straightening. All right? Now, if that's uh, okay for you, you can just keep your hands on your waist. That's absolutely fine. If you want to join me with arms, we're going to work our third pour de bras. So one arm floats in to first position, opposite the belly button. You want to imagine the waves crashing and receding onto that shoreline. This is exercises to pole dock, to the theme tune from pole dock. So you want to feel those waves crashing on that Cornish, Cornish coastline. Yeah, nice and gentle. And we're going to add the arms to the legs. So if you lift your right leg up, your left arm is going to come in. So we're working in our position. Yeah, we're going to do four of these. Okay? We're going to gather our basket. We're going to reach the right toe. Nice and long reach of that toe. We're bending through our standing knee. And you're going to push off that bent knee to go up to a little lift onto our tiptoes. Now, if that lift on our tiptoes is too much for you today, from your basket, from your plie, or fondue, sorry, you can just take a long step, heels down on the ground. That's absolutely fine. All right, but if you want to join me, we're going to pose. We're going to push our body weight up onto our tiptoes, and then we're going to pitter patter, karoo, running step, back to where we came from, squeeze those heels down, and then we're going to go everything with the left leg and the right arm coming in. We're going to repeat everything on the other side. If those crews, those pitter patters coming back are too much, you can just take some graceful, gentle steps to where you came from. Um, keep, sorry, keep the arms here in seconds so that they're there. If you're doing the arms with me, yep, with the fondue. Okay? So this pose, I want you to make sure that from this fondue leg, you're going to push your body weight up and over. I want you to imagine you're on that cliff face. You're thinking, mm, I want to see what's over that cliff face you don't want to fall over the cliff face, yeah? So you want to get further over so you can have a little peek, keeping the body nice and long, keeping your shoulders and head balanced over those hips. All right, that will keep you nice and balanced. All right, guys, let's do this. Hold up. Here we go. Feet in parallel, toes and heels together. You ready? Good. Open those arms. Right leg. Lift. Lower. Lift. Alternate feet. Last one. Gather your basket. Reach the right toe and push up onto your tiptoes. Hit a padder. Lots of feet. Running step. Keep your arms. And left. Step down. Trying not to lean. Good. Keep your body strong. Now left leg. Reach. Push. Onto your tiptoes. And pick a padder. Lots of feet, open those arms and squeeze those marshmallows under your heels as you lower, growing tall. Good job, shake that out. Excellent. Good, that pose is hard, hey? <laughs> and what's hard is to not, not lean on those fondues. So in ballet, we always want to make sure that our sides are equal. We want to think of our sides as picture frames. Yeah, I want to keep those sides nice and even. Even Stephen. <laughs> All right. You know this one. You know this theme tune. This is from Outlander. And with this exercise, we're working our sways. So feet in first. So we're going to turn out those legs laterally to the side. Heels together. Toes turned out. We're going to work the sway arms. So we're going to reach both arms to the right and then both arms to the left. Having a little look at those fingertips as they sweep under and out. We're then going to add the leg. So the, left, the, sorry, the right leg reaches out. We're going to go under the bridge, 
push. Bending those knees through your second position. Bend, and then we're pointing that toe out to the side. Trying to keep that turn out as we point that toe. So we don't want that knee to face the front. We want to rotate through the hip and keep that toe nice and pointed. No weight on that toe, nice and weightless. We're then going to do two sways. And you're going to join your feet together. Step to the right. And we're going to go under the bridge. Keep the arms down there. And just two sways. Bend and stretch and then just step together under the bridge. And the arms go. Reach the arms. Step together. Just bring the arms down and reach. Now you can just join the heels together with a flat foot there on the steps. Or you can come up to demi point and then down under the bridge. Okay, we're then going to add, if you want to, a whoosh, a circular arm. You want to think of that roller coaster, you know, a loop de loop all the way around. We're going to go two sways, stepping out as we just did, where the arms go up to the right, round to the left, down and out. Swaying to the left, swaying to the right, loop de loop, up to up, down and a down. All right, and we're going to finish with some sways and a little pour de bar at the end. Okay, let's do this. Feet in first, please. Are you steady? Let's go. Good. Standing up tall. Curving those arms. Shoulders relaxed. Okay, we're going to reach those arms to the right. And, and left. Reach. Reach. Take a look. That doesn't make you dizzy. <laughs> Not just look to the front. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. Down, up. Use those knees. Heels down in between. Now we're going to do those two sways. Two, step to the right, join under the bridge. Left, step and join under the bridge. Add the arms. Roller coaster. Up, down, reach, reach, up. Keep going and bend stretch. Press those knees out. Now just sway it out. Sway, sway. Hold it here. Bring the leg in. Standing tall. Reach the arms to second. Bring the right arm in. Out. Bring the left arm in. Full port de bar. Demi bra position, palms out, up to the ceiling. Imagine you're carrying a tray. Well done. Excellent. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. You want to really press those knees. You want to imagine that um, bridge is rather low, yeah, but without sticking our bottom out. We want to get that demi plie in second to push off. Demi plie, push, yeah. Good job. I know you like that music. <laughs> All right, this last exercise that we're going to do today is to get the heart rate up a little bit. This is a Pitti Allegro, and this is to teach the um, Pitti Jeté derriere. So derriere denotes where the toe is going to be placed. The Pitti Jeté means small spring, small jump, and we're springing from foot to foot. Now, with all of my classes, all of my exercises, you don't need to jump. I always go from the marking of the, of the step up to the jump of the step. So you want to find some a little uh, part of that exercise that you know, speaks to you. Yeah, if you want to go through it, that's fine. If you want to stay at the first level, that's fine too. All right, so you don't need to jump. So feet in first, hands on the waist. Let's get rid of those arms. So concentrate on those feet. So you're going to soften that plie. Knees, up, knees soften over those toes. We're going to go soften. Lift the right toe to the back. Yep, come back down to first, lift the left toe. And then we're going to go swip, swap. Swip, swap, swip, swap. Try that again. First, lift the right, close, lift the left, swip, four, three, two, one. Yeah? All right, so that's marking it. Marking it means doing the positions, but without too much impact. Okay? If you want to join me, we're then going to add a little bit more ballon. Yeah. 
softening through those knees and you can add a little bit more of a spring from foot to foot. Nice and easy still. Yeah. And then that's for twice. And then we're going to do, if you want, saute, spring, saute, spring, swip, swap, petit jeté. All right. So if you want to jump on the third set, join me. All right. We're then going to go back down to marking it and come back up to jumping. All right. Let's do this. So petit jeté. Very important that we maintain, well, you can't see my knee, <laughs> maintain that turnout. Pressing that turnout with that knee out to the side. Yep, keeping our nice diamonds in between. All right, this is from Downton Abbey. This is called Marmalade Cakewalk. It's very fun. <laughs> and it's quite quick. Pretty jeté. Nice and quick, sharp, neat. All right, let's do this. Feet first, please. Hands on the waist. Good. Here we go. Elbows forward, four backs, soften your knees. Here we go, right foot lifts up, down, up, down. Swip, swap, swip, swap. Up, up, swip, swap, swip, swap. Little soften of the knees. One, two, three, four. Little bit more buoyancy. Four, three. Now if you wanna jump in, down, up. One, two, staying on the spot. Go back to where you need to. I'm going to mark it a little bit more ballon. A little spring. Down, up, down, up. Four, three, let's go. Jump it if you can. Four, three, two, one. Down, up. Spring, spring, spring. Feet together. Just give me a big inhale. And an exhale. We're going to finish with a reverence to say goodbye. Feet first. Thank you. Little breathe. Good. And again. Stand tall. Right arm. Palm up. Curve. And lower. Left. Palm up. Curve to second. Two arms. Tray in front. Now curve to second. Full pod bra. Take a little classical pose, right leg behind. Step to the right, curtsy or bow. Step to the left. Thank you. Finish with your feet in first. And a tray of cookies just out the oven. Shoulders down, chest open. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you very much for joining today. Let's turn that off. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for trying out some of my exercises from my Silver Swan boxes. If you want more information, you can head to my website, www.balatiques.com. Yep. <laughs> and first class is always free, so if you want to try a full-length version of my class, please sign up. I'd love to see you. Take care of yourselves, look after yourself, and I hope to see you soon. Keep dancing. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.